And the reason for this are not materialistic things. I don't give a fuck about materialistic things, man. I'm living in Thailand, man. I'm sitting here in a freaking wife beater. Freaking shorts on, you have my knee up out here. I don't give a fuck about material things, man. It's all about excellence. It's about striving for more excellence. This is not about the money, man. The game is about finding out who you can actually become. Finding out who you can actually be. Finding out how far you can actually get in 2024. That's what this game is about. And I owe this shit to the people around me, the people who support me, the people who love me. And I owe it up to you because if you wouldn't be supporting me on my journey, I wouldn't even be sitting here in freaking Thailand right now in my freaking wife beater with the pipes all out. After some reflection, this is how I am going to absolutely demolish and dominate 2024 like you've never ever seen me do before and i owe this up to myself and to all the people that i care about the only way to be able to do this is through a way that is sustainable as in order to succeed because motivation only gets you going consistency gets shit done and the only way to be consistent is to have an approach that is basically sustainable now what is sustainable how can one be sustainable in my opinion, you need to have balance. Otherwise, it's basically like a ticking time bomb until you can't adhere to it anymore. So typically what you would see is like people have four or five different things that they add value to. So maybe you like to go to the gym. Maybe you like to do boxing or something like that. Maybe you have a favorite football club that you always want to go see on the weekend. It's like a big thing in the UK. Like the whole world always just basically stops on the weekend. In Italy, it's like... 24 7 always football 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 in the uk it tends to be more like on the weekend like you don't talk about work you just go support your favorite club and that's what the weekend is all about maybe you have one of those things could be friends could be family could be anything but it's often four or five different things you could basically see all these things as a room let's say your house is like four or five different rooms they all have like a different size and each size basically resembles the amount of time that you need to put into something to have it as balanced. Now, since we have all different things we like, since we all like to put different amounts of time into things, this is different for each and every one of us. Now, and if you would spend too much time into one of these rooms, it basically means that you spend too little in one of the other. So it becomes unorganized. Balance is putting enough time into each and every of these rooms and being able to put enough time into those things so it stays organized. And that's more of a sustainable approach to being able to spend enough time to all the things that you want to do, which allows it to be compounding, right? So that's what balance is, in my opinion. Now, some people like to work like 80 hours a week because work's like one gigantic thing for them and their room is like enormous compared to everything else then that's sustainable for him. If he can still put enough time into all those other things, I believe he won't run into like um, exhaustion symptoms or being overworked or like burnouts and all those stuff that people make up nowadays. I believe it has to be sustainable. And of course, what is the best thing that you can do to learn sustainability and learn to be consistent so you can have those compounding steps is building your ass up in the gym. Absolutely building an insane, massive, shredded six-pack abs, incredible physique. Now, the only way to get there is to be patient, to do the right stuff consistently all over again. And that's how you get the results. If you quit for like two, three months in between, it's not going to end up the way you want it to be. It can only happen if you do the right stuff, even if it's boring on days where you don't feel like it over and over and over again. Now, in 2022, there is a truth that I came to realize, and that is without progress i cannot be truly happy and i believe that a masculine man without progress as well just can't be fully happy time itself is progress we can all debate about how our planet or how the universe came to exist but without the entity of time it couldn't have happened because of time we have now gotten to a point that you and i have been born if you wait long enough so let's say like the big bang started right at this massive explosion that started to expand the universe and created all planets and everything and yada 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 until millions of times further ahead we got to a point where you and i were born and we got to a point where you and i are now sitting here having this conversation without time that never could have possibly happened so time is also like the only thing that we cannot buy the only thing we can't control interesting thought one million seconds 
is about 30 years. There are billionaires in this world. Let's say they are like 60 years old. And they only have like, if they would reach 90, they would only have 1 million seconds on their time left. Now, since time is the only thing that money can't buy, how many of those billionaires do you think would be willing to trade their billions or billion of money, the currency of money, for your additional extra one or 1.5 billion of seconds that you have left more than they are. So when it comes to time, you're actually more rich than they are. And I think there's a significant amount of these people who would be willing to trade their money for the time that you have, because they can buy anything. The whole world is free to them, except for time. Now time itself is basically progress. So it's up to us, like everything else, we literally have to progress along with it. We are supposed to. If we do not, we are fundamentally doing something wrong. It is an upset in and of itself if we don't. So if we are not progressing along with time, we are doing something wrong and that by definition will make you less happy. Without improvement, a man cannot truly be happy. I know at least for sure that I can't. The times that I am content, satisfied, feeling good and be my best self to other people and act in a way that I truly want to be acting is where I show my best side to people is when I am improving. Design my ultimate self. This begins with designing my ultimate self. I can't stress this often enough. It comes from a book called Reality Transurfing. It's truly an amazing book. I really recommend you reading it. It's people have a very strong idea of what they don't want and a very fake idea of what they do want. You need to get super crystal clear in your mind what it is that you want. Listen. Arnold only achieved everything that he did because he had a super crystal clear vision of what he wanted to become in the future, of what he wanted his future to look like, of what he wanted his future self to be like. Without that clear vision, that never would have happened. Expect you do like a, you run a marathon, for example. How the hell are you supposed to finish when you don't know where the finish is? You first need to know what the destination is before you can lay down a path to get there. And all of that starts with designing your future self. When it comes to 2023, when it comes to looks and physique and the entire physical realm and outlook that I want to have, I absolutely achieved, demolished, knocked out the freaking park the way that I want to be looking. The way that I wanted to be looking when I set myself out on this journey, actually not even a year ago, but like 11 years ago when I started trading. Like what you're looking at right now, me sitting in Thailand and this freaking wife beater with the pipes all out. That's what I wanted to be like. And now of course we need to be ever evolving. We need to set new goals and I want to keep developing in all realms. So when it comes to this physical department, I once again set out new goals as well because we need to keep evolving in all realms to be truly happy and physique complete detail have a brutally honest outlook on yourself and ask yourself what do i look like what am i wearing what is my haircut like how are my arms how's my chest do i have six-pack abs how big are my legs everything ask yourself why haven't i gotten there already why am i not the absolute pinnacle version of my ultimate self physically that i could be one of the things that I came up with when it comes to physical improvement points for myself in 2024 is that I want to have better, wider teeth and I want my skin to be as good as it was. You know, I'm now living in Thailand, it's like super humid out here, super hot. It's when I'm not hitting the gym in the morning, I'm doing cardio and when I, you know, often I do these things early in the morning and when I'm done with it, I just go immediately straight into work. And I don't shower and I don't do anything like that. So what happens is because I still have all this sweat on my skin, I get this acne and my skin starts to become messed up. But then I'm asking myself, why the heck am I not taking care of those things? Why don't I have a clean skincare routine? Why am I only brushing my teeth? It's doing an absolute disservice to myself because I could be better in those fields as well. There's not enough self-love there. There's not enough commitment. There's not enough discipline. And I need to be freaking on top of those things as well. Like nutrition, sleep, training, those things are always on point and I always have been. 
But you and I both know that for the best version of myself and the best version of yourself, that motherfucker doesn't have crooked teeth and a super rough skin. So we need to take care of those things as well. Looks and physique in great detail. What does your body look like? What do you dress like? What does your hair look like? Do you have six pack abs? Go for the absolute most ultimate insane physique, lean, muscular that you could ever achieve. If they can have it, if anyone else can have it, then so can you. If you're at the start of 2024 and you don't have six pack abs or you're not in the best shape of your life, you should be disappointed at yourself. You've let yourself down and to be real with you, you've let yourself down because you could have been in that shape right now. It's actually not that hard if you just have the knowledge if you have the plan and you do consistently the right things over and over again it's like the most simple stuff that you can ever achieve it's much easier than building a business it's just being consistent doing the right things over and over and over again and honestly i ask myself this question too because yes i'm the biggest i've ever been the pipes are larger than they've ever been before but i'm not the leanest that i've ever been i'm not in the best shape of my life that i've ever been Yes, I've made tremendous steps in other fields, but I could have still progressed when it comes to, you know, being at the leanest in the best shape as well. I've let myself down. You let yourself down because everyone else in your circle is being inspired by you and is being motivated by you. So if you are not in your best shape, then for sure as hell, your friends and your inner circle, your closest circle is not going to be either. If you do, if you sort your clothes out, if you sort everything out, they will become inspired by you and you will lead by example and their lives will become better as well. This man, it's up to you, but I believe that this year, 2024, we should step up and we should take things super seriously and go for the best version of ourselves that we could ever freaking achieve. Fucking go for the absolute best. Now you all think that makes perfect common sense and of course you need to know what the destination is before you're able to get there, but none of you motherfuckers actually have a solid concrete plan. None of you do. If I would ask you how much muscle do you want to put on, which, which exact amount of body fat or percentage of body fat do you want to achieve, you can tell me. Wouldn't be able to tell me. How much muscle? I don't know. I don't know how much that looks like. So if, if you don't know what your destination looks like, how the hell are you going to achieve it? You've been trying for, I don't know how many years. At least one for sure. Maybe like four, five, six. I still haven't gotten there. So what is going to change now for you to actually start to freaking achieve it? And step number one is know what the destination looks like. Everyone has a super vague idea of what they want. You need to have a super crystal clear picture of what you do want. And if you focus all your efforts and attention on that goal, then your lifeline will automatically start to move into that direction. That makes perfect sense too, right? So what I want you to do right now is just freaking pause this video and get crystal clear in your mind what it is that you want to physically be looking like. All right, now I've reached the next point, the financial stuff, the materialistic stuff, the money and belongings. So this year, 2023, I've earned the most money I've ever did in my life. And what happens is as a result, I kind of take the foot off the gas a little bit. But I shouldn't be doing that because I'm not at the point where my girlfriend, I'm currently in a long distance relationship, freaking sucks. She comes over like every two to three months, super nice and stuff. But we're not at the point where she can basically quit her job, live on my expense. And we could basically not have any income. Let's say something happens to me and there wouldn't be any income for a few years. That we wouldn't be fair and sound all the way through. Right? So I need to basically keep pushing to that point. Because I did, I basically achieved my goals and I was super happy with the income that I got. I just kind of take my foot off the gas a little bit. And like outside of the physical realm and those things, these departments, the ones that follow now, these are the ones that I just literally need to put my freaking foot on the freaking gas and don't let it take off and don't let it get off. It doesn't matter which level you are at. There's always higher levels to be aiming for, higher levels to be striving for. I'm very content. I'm very happy with everything that I've achieved so far physically. Um, financially relationships wise experiences i've traveled across the world i've met tons of nice awesome people i'm super happy with what i'm doing from a work standpoint of view but there's always more to be striving for there's always more to achieve we have to push for more even if it's not for ourselves it's for the people around us the people that we care about and the only reason why we haven't achieved our dream life yet is fully onto us we need to be super stoic about this shit Full ownership, all of it, it's all on us. We're the only people who are going to change this for ourselves. No one else is going to do it for us. Nobody gives a flying fuck, man. 
It's all on us, man. So you and me, we need to freaking put our shit together and just continue grinding until we freaking get there, man. And enjoy the freaking journey. Because we cannot simply be happy if we are not progressing. We have to, as we explained earlier, through the time is continuously moving on. We need to fucking put our freaking foot on the gas and keep going. So even if you have everything you have, even if you're like fully sound yourself, find a why, find a reason that keeps yourself pushing. Do it for your, for your girlfriend, do it for your parents, do it for your friends, retire all of them if you... If that's what it takes but find some fire inside of you that just keeps that drive and momentum going because otherwise you just simply slack again we need something we need something to push us constantly and always my drive personally when it comes to belongings money finances those things it's not really for myself anymore but to get to a point where my long distance relationship ends where i can have her with me all the time where i can also see my family more often because i'm out here in thailand and most of them are in the netherlands some are in poland as well it used to be spain and the us but it's a bit more like those two countries nowadays and yeah i just don't see them enough man so i need to use those things as fuel right because our time once again is so freaking short man dinosaurs they've lived there for 165 million plus years and your lifespan and mine and max is maybe 100 years so that's like nothing on the scale of the universe it's like literally freaking zero man so it's actually a shame if we're on our journey not being able to spend enough time with the closest people around us because our time is so limited and that's basically all that we ever had and all we ever will have is just spent our time as good as we possibly can because it's all freaking insignificant on the scale of the universe man whatever you and i are going to achieve it's just not going to be significant even what elon musk is doing if you look at the time span of humanity all that ever would happen is basically inevitable we have this brain capacity humans have this brain capacity and if you would just basically simulate the timeline that we as humans had right now, I believe that the same thing would have happened. So like there's this few people that come along every now and then, like people like Einstein or Musk or whatever, that just basically advance human species as a whole. But, you know, if you would simulate it, it would be some other guy doing it. So because we have this capacity and the set amount of time, I believe that it's inevitable that we will move into the direction that we are doing. Just the individual people might be different, but as a whole, it will always continuously happen over and over again. So the only thing that really matters because us as an individual is so insignificant, not that insignificant that your life and mine doesn't matter. But the only thing that really matters is that we spend our time eventually as good as we can and as happy as we can. And we can only live it as happy as we can if we keep striving for improvement constantly over and over again. I reach new heights we can make our lives better and enjoy that experience more and be more happy with those people that we add most value to so those are my goals when it comes to this point so next one charisma and personality when you walk into a room how do you want people to see you what do you want what do you want them to see you as what do you want to make them feel when they see you what do you want to feel when you walk into a room how does this person act so all these things, write them down. What does this person have? What does this person look like? How does this person act? What habits does he have? What habits does he not have? All of it gets super crystal clear. So I like basically ask yourself if Casper could ask me more questions about it to make it more concrete. There shouldn't be any possible. It should be like freaking crystal clear, like super concrete, super specific. We all have bad habits. Humans in general are imperfect. You and I, it doesn't matter what we achieve, we will always have bad habits. And what habits do we need to eliminate for us to be the person that we want to be, right? So you can basically go at it in like this way. So what I like to do is I have a bad habit and then I basically try to substitute it for something else. Like make it super robotic, like super systematic. So if this happens, if trigger, for example... Um, you know, I want to start scrolling, for example, um, before I go to sleep after I had a super meaningful, accomplished day. I absolutely smashed the gym. My training has been on point. My work has been going great, everything. And I feel like, okay, now I can just kind of scroll a little bit, you know, like this freaking mindless zombie stuff that everyone is doing. Then if you catch yourself doing that, then instead, I'm just going to read, for example, a fiction book. Because that's like a good thing to do 
before bed, there's no light exposure. You can create the melatonin production in your brain, so you can basically fall asleep, those kind of things, right? Because if you would do like a non-fiction self-improvement book, then your brain is going to start rushing and rushing again. And that will probably lead to problems falling asleep because we don't fall asleep like as a helicopter that just kind of goes and then like boom, straight down like that. No, it's kind of goes down like an airplane and slowly moves into sleeping mode. So we need a bit of a runway to get to that point that we're not going to have that runway if we read improvement books. So like something fictional or something that I like to do is super good thing to do right or just have a chat with your girlfriend or whatever make some babies in the bed over there maybe not this one specifically but yours obviously so find 10 reasons for yourself why you want to be that person and 10 reasons above yourself why you also want to be that person now the next one i touched on this briefly already before it's all freaking insignificant if you look on a scale of time on a universal scale and when it comes to space and how big and vast and everything is and that like it takes like 30 million light years of distance to find another like similar planetary system where there's like a earth-like planet in the same distance to a sun where there could be life and it's like like millions of these as well it's like so freaking big it just makes us realize like how super insignificant all of this is so just use that to take the stress off a little bit because it really doesn't freaking matter. Just do it for your happiness, for your life experience, for your fulfillment and for the people around you. But just know that in the process, don't add too much value to it because it's not freaking significant. Don't like put too much stress on it that will then in return like kind of hold you back because you just add too much value to it. Just go in it like super empty, like Man, it's all chill, like kind of like a video game. I just kind of want to level up and it doesn't really matter if I don't hit it so much. You like be content in the present moment because that's all you have, but still keep striving for all those freaking goals, right? And just use this like knowledge that it's all super insignificant and it doesn't really matter to not make it too heavy on yourself to start like procrastinating because it doesn't freaking matter, all right? Just like go at a super chill, just try your best, right? And just freaking knock that shit out of the park. You can put stress on yourself, but not to the extent where you just start to slack and you start to become inactive. Stress is good because obstacles will come, shit will get hard. So you better just like, that's why, for example, gym is like a super good thing. If you always train super hard to failure, if you always are like super freaking resilient, if those obstacles come your way because it's not going to be all rainbows, it's going to get fucking tough at some point. And at least you'll be able to handle it because you already put yourself under so much workload and so much stress. It's freaking easy to deal with those things. But know that it's all insignificant. It's like a, like a balance between those things that you kind of just want to be operating on. Don't take shit too seriously, man. So again, at the same time, seek challenges, look for difficulty, train as fucking hard as you possibly can in the gym, train to failure all the time so you can build resilience, stay resilient because your path and journey to excellence, things will get freaking hard and we can't give up. Be stoic, be as stoic as you can be, take 100% ownership, complete ownership over everything and everything is your fault and only you can and will fix it. But once again, in modern day, the definition of stoicism is the endurance of pain or hardship without a display of feelings or complaints. No feelings, no complaints, just fucking get the shit done. And then this one, you probably won't hear it a lot, but you need to understand and find balance between your workload capacity plus recovery capacity versus the actual workload that you are doing. There needs to be a balance there because otherwise it can't be sustainable, right? And we now know that it needs to be sustainable so it can be compounding, just like building yourself up in the gym. You need to make the right consistent steps over and over and over again, and that will lead to results and it accounts for anything else because once again, motivation only gets you going and results and consistency gets freaking shit done. And it works in anything else like that in business, in relationships, in entrepreneurship, everything. So use building your physique as a stepping stone to just become successful in all realms, right? And it needs to be balanced. We can't like freaking overwork ourselves because if we do constantly keep overworking ourselves, then we can't stay consistent. So understand 
what your workload capacity and limit is and don't exceed it. Yes, you can sprint in short terms, which basically like, just like putting in more effort in kind of an unsustainable way, but just do it for a short period of time. Don't exceed that amount. So you don't run into like overworking symptoms and stuff like that. So having a sustainable approach, know what your workload capacity is. If you want to exceed it, only do it when you have to. Sometimes you just have to put in extra effort when certain obstacles come. Then like put in that little sprint, but don't do it for too long. Now this one, the next one can be super useful as well. Use anger, use anger. Just as you use anger in the gym, it can be a great tool to rise above yourself. The energy and power that it brings that you can actually use to absolutely demolish a set can be super useful outside the gym as well. For example, ask yourself, why do I have to look at how much something costs? There are certain people in this world, they don't need to look at how much anything costs. Why do I? They're not any better than me. Why can I fly private? Why can I fly first class? Because I haven't raised the standards for myself. Why do I have limits on my life and limits on myself anyway, where there are people who have none? The only limit I want in my life is a self-imposed discipline. And anything I want to do for my environment, I want to be able to do it if it fits within that discipline. If someone can do it, so can I. Get mad why people have things that you don't. Not because you resent them or because of jealousy, but because I know that they are just human, just like you and me. And it's all a self-reflection of work I haven't put in if someone else is ahead of me in life. It's all a self-reflection of work you and I haven't been able to put in. That's the right mindset, man. Be super stoic. Take that freaking ownership, man. Ultimate self-accountability, man. That's what it's all about. That's all it ever was and all it ever will be because there are no freaking excuses, man. There are people who come from much less conditions than you and I. Take Patrick Bad David, for example. He was a refugee from Syria, I think it was. He left from a freaking war era from a war country left to the us with absolutely nothing first went to germany was in some camp over there etc etc and now it's like a 30 plus million net worth living in freaking miami i think he's the neighbor of freaking Lionel messi right now okay believe it there are people from much worse conditions who achieve absolutely insane heights so there are no excuses we you and I, we come from much better conditions, most likely. And if not, then there's still someone who's coming from worse conditions than you. So there are no excuses. Full self-accountability, man. That's what this shit is all about. And the reasons for this are not materialistic things. I don't give a fuck about materialistic things, man. I'm living in Thailand, man. I'm sitting here in a freaking wife beater. Freaking shorts on. You have my knee up out here. I don't give a fuck about material things, man. It's all about excellence. It's about striving for more excellence. Excellence is the goal and the journey of getting to a better, more enjoyable, happier, more fulfilling life. It doesn't matter what point I am improving from. As long as I am improving, that's freaking perfect, man. Next one, how I do anything is how I do everything. I can tell. If I look into a person's car and it's all messy, I know his whole life is going to be messy. How you do something is how you do everything. Even though I have a cleaner who cleans this place or any place that I'm staying in in Thailand, for example, comes in every single week. But then still I notice that in between those time spaces, in between those time stamps, I make shit dirty, man. Why am I doing that, man? Because it means that I'm being messy. And when I am being messy, other fields, other departments in my life, I'm being messy as well. So in every place I come, for example, I look into this room and I'll be like, what is here that doesn't add to my goals? This thing, this freaking glass, for example, here. Okay, it's empty right now, but does it serve my goal? Yeah, when it's filled up, yeah, because I need water, I need to be hydrated, so yeah, it can be here, but it should be filled up. Is there anything else in this room that should be removed? Is there anything else that doesn't add to my goals? If it is, it should be removed. There's no point in being there, right? There's sometimes there's like a TV on the wall. Okay, I can't rip it off and throw it out of the window because then the owner will get mad so i need to leave that thing there but anything else if it's movable if it can be gone if it can be removed remove it man so even though i have a cleaner i'm still making shit messy in between and i need to fucking fix that shit 
Because if I make the house messy, then everything I do is done in a messy way. It all starts with the little things like building a great, like awesome, ripped muscular physique. It's all through a matter of self-love and hygiene. Those are like the basic foundational things upon which you can build. If you don't have those things, forget about everything else. Fix those fucking things first. Trust me, bro, I've done plenty of partying. I've been with enough girls. I've traveled across the world and the truly only source of real fulfillment that I've ever found or the highest version of it is when I'm actively working on improving myself and working on becoming the person I want to be. I have the right people around me on that journey, even better. Raise your fucking standards. I think we could all just benefit from absolutely giving it our all and aiming for the absolute best and finding enjoyment in that because that's what will really give us the fulfillment while also being present in the moment because that's all we will ever have and it's all going to be super insignificant anyway simply because it just makes your life experience better there's such a bullshit culture going around right now of just simply accepting things for the way they are this is not about the money man the game is about finding out who you can actually become finding out who you can actually be finding out how far you can actually get in 2024 that's what this game is about. And I owe this shit to the people around me, the people who support me, the people who love me. And I owe it up to you because if you wouldn't be supporting me on my journey, I wouldn't even be sitting here in freaking Thailand right now in my freaking wife beater with the pipes all out to be the best version of me to be able to inspire you. If you fucking step the shit up, you will inspire the people around you. And I'll probably eventually will be seeing you on your journey as well. Just document your shit. Go all at it, man. And then you might inspire me. Actually, my clients, man, they inspire the shit out of me. They're crushing their goals so fucking freaking hard. And I'm just working all day. And now I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I'm supposed to lead by example. But these people, they're crushing everything so hard. Man, I got to go crush it even harder right now. So, like, my clients, the one that I'm supposed to be helping, they inspire me every single day. Warren Buffett said, the best thing you can do to become successful is to change your environment and be with like-minded people, be with successful people. Because eventually there's only two things you can do. You either get lost, you get behind, or you catch up with them. We're made to cooperate. So I need to be the best freaking way I can be for you. In 2023, there have been times where I let weakness get into my mind, if I'm being honest. Like I'm always still training like super hard, nutrition is on point, recovery is on point. But if I would achieve tasks that I set myself out to do for that day outside of the gym, I would then just like feel tired. Because like, for example, I train so freaking hard. Everything I do is to failure. I hit so many sets in the gym because I literally have to, if I want to continuously keep progressing at the level of advancement that I'm currently at, that I would feel like, oh, I'm too tired. I need to relax because I literally don't have any energy left for anything else in a day which is bullshit, man. That's all just freaking bias, observe objectively. Like if I'm behind my laptop and I just literally can't get anything done anymore, productivity is at like absolute zero, then yes, but that's not the case. There's still time on the clock. There's still tasks that I set out to do. Like I have my Google Calendar, I have my working blocks. Like I'm not done for the day yet at all. Like there's still half of the time left, but I'm not doing anything anymore. Like yeah, I'm, I do all my client calls and I, make all the feedback videos and I make sure they're running and they keep smashing their goals as they are doing because that's why they're actually pushing me. But then I have stuff I set out to do outside of those things and I wouldn't be doing those things. So why the fuck am I slowing down? I'm so grateful for the people that I have around me. I have this friend, for example, right? His name is Kenny De Jong. This man goes so freaking hard. Whenever I set out or achieve the goals that I have set out for myself for that day and I just feel like I want to relax, this man just keeps going. This is like a guy who like completed special operations military when he was 19 in Belgium because he couldn't do it in the Netherlands. He wasn't allowed to start at that time and he already finished it in Belgium before he was even allowed to start in the Netherlands. Like a freaking crazy military non-stop go mindset. He just keeps going. He doesn't have to say anything to me. But when I feel like, okay, I need to relax and I just see him going, I just like feed off that energy and I just know like, okay, I need to keep it pushing. So you need to be in a pack. A lone wolf is always going to lose. We are made to cooperate. We beat the Neanderthalers way back because we as Homo sapiens, we were able to cooperate. And that's the only way that we have been able to defeat them. We need like this engagement with people. It's like a base need that we actually need to do. Do it with the right people. You will push each other. You will feed off each other's energy. And you will reach greater heights together. 
raise your standards and raise each other's standards everything starts with you you must work on yourself as long as you do that everything else will follow and will take care of itself your net worth will never exceed your amount of personal development and this initially comes from never breaking promises that you make to yourself bro i've had so many times where i said i was going to do something and eventually i didn't do it every time this happens it kind of eats away your confidence it eats away from yourself each time this happens over and over again it takes away from your ability to do something and get shit done and eventually this will lead to the point where you literally just don't believe in yourself anymore you don't trust yourself anymore and you're just going down this downward spiral more and more and more if you had a friend who would never do something that he set himself out and told you to do Let's say you would never show up at the gym at the time that you guys were supposed to meet up. You would never send out or do this task in time or would do or complete it at all. What would you think of the friend who constantly over and over again would break promises to you? Would you keep him around? Would you continue to spend time with him? Absolutely fucking not, you wouldn't man. It's of the utmost importance that you don't feel like that person and to be honest, at some point in 2023 I did feel like that person and then I asked myself, Motherfucker, why do you not do the things that you set out to do and what you say you were going to do? If you keep doing what you set yourself out to do, this is where ultimate confidence is born. This is what really creates this fire, which you can just create and build momentum on and just keep going and going and going. This is the ultimate source of confidence. My mindset for 2024. Observe objectively. Am I tired or am I just finding reasons to not do the specific task at hand? Right, so I would basically say tiredness does not exist. I will continue working in the time span that I set up myself to work and I will not stop unless I have during that day a productivity of what typically for a nine to fiver would be like 50% of that, right? Like an entrepreneurial, let's, let's be honest here, right? A nine to fiver just often like looks on the clock so like oh fuck is it this time already waste some time here and there. But if you're working on yourself, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have your own businesses, you shouldn't think in matters of time but in matters of tasks right like how can i get the most amount of stuff done in the least amount of time i think that honestly like that's how people should be rewarded if you can do something in less time than somebody else with the same quality at least and you should be earned more but that's not how this world works it works just basically on hours spent performing and completing a specific task so if i see that i'm going below a productivity level of a regular nine to fiver or average nine to five productivity level then i know like okay now i actually am allowed to take some rest but i need to continue to observe objectively because if i'm just finding excuses because oh like i trained so freaking hard i need to have a break there's no room to do anything else that day those are just freaking excuses because if if i would sit down i sure as hell would still be able to complete more tasks as productively as possible observe objectively i will manage all the expectations i set out i'm only as good as my word if i say i'm going to do something i will do it and if i can't complete that task in time i will expectation manage that and let the other person know that i couldn't complete it in the in the time that i set out to do and then i will give them a new date a new expectation on when they can expect it to be done and then i will complete it at that time always at least worst least thing you can do is manage expectations weakness is a calling for domination weakness is a opportunity of growth weakness is actually like a super beautiful thing because it's actually a sign that there's room for growth so if you instead of get rid of the storm like what most people often do there's something scary they go out and partying and just numb themselves on the weekend but instead recognize that opportunity for growth face that storm head first freaking attack that shit like a frontline spartan that that's what you want to be doing it is a sign for you to level up it is a sign an opportunity for you to improve and get closer to the person that you want to be use all of that as positive reinforcement to show yourself and the person around you that you are making steps with the person you want to be and you are the absolute fucking man and the person not to be messed with and be taken seriously and freaking respected so whenever weakness shows up double the fuck up treat everything like the gym one percent better every day is 365 percent better in a year 
make the right consistent compounding steps over and over and over again through a sustainable approach and stay consistent even when shit gets hard observe objectively keep freaking going until you complete the task at hand and reach the goal and don't get satisfied if you do earlier because you have other reasons now outside of you that are bigger than you that will keep you pushing to but without to an extent where you will actually burn yourself out no, we know what our workload capacity is and we do not exceed it, but we also don't stop if we reach our tasks earlier. We do the exact amount that is sustainable long term. I don't like to think about where I would have been right now if I had shown up consistently every single day. Like on, if I would post daily on YouTube, even though I don't have the available time right now to put out the quality content that I want to, maybe it's an excuse, but I'm just being straight up honest here. If I would have done that every single day, say with Instagram for the whole 2023, man, I don't even want to know where I would have been right now. Consistency will take care of everything else and there will be days where weakness will show up and that is just going to be an opportunity and a sign for you to double down. Let go of ego. I will not let opinions of others stand in my way on my journey to masculine excellence and pure excellence as a whole. I will not give a flying fuck about what other people think about me what like stupid stuff I'm saying in my wife beater on YouTube or on social media. I don't give a shit about that stuff. I'm only all about my self-improvement journey on my road to excellence. And I do not give a flying fuck about what people think about me. Routine is essential. We are human beings. And just like any being on this planet, we are creatures of routine. So within that realm as well, there's a nice bridge to the next point. Try, if possible, to have early mornings. For me right now, that's a bit hard because I have a lot of calls that are with people from the European time zone and right here is like plus six compared to Europe. Um, so like if people would have like a nine to five or they would only be available in the evening, that means that I need to take calls at like one or 2 a.m., right? So in order to get enough or sufficient amount of sleep in, that often means that I would then need to give up my sleep i know that's not a good idea so then my super early mornings i will have to push them a little bit forward but if you can have super early mornings the more you rise and fall with the sun the better it will be for you the fact that we as humans because of our brain capacity build cities up and build ourselves up to a point where just a person like me, for example, who is not being able to retire anyone right now, can be in this room, have a better life than a king had decades ago, says enough about our capacity as human beings. But the further our society moves further ahead, it doesn't necessarily mean that whatever comes along with it is going to be better for us. Because we're still beings of nature, right? So the more we fall and rise with the sun, the better it's going to be for us stuff like night owls back in the day didn't freaking exist there was this study they did where they would send people into the woods and just let them sleep without any shelter and within three days there were no night owls anymore if the sun would rise at 6 15 a.m in the morning and would just hit your eyelid and your sensors in your eyes would catch it it would automatically wake you up and make you energized and because you wake up that early in the morning you will be tired at night and because there's no light pollution, there's no phone, there's no scrolling or nothing, it will just be plain dark. The melatonin will be produced in your brain because it's dark, giving you this tired feeling, the signal to fall asleep. Eventually, you will fall asleep early. And all these people who would before be night owls, within three days, they had a circadian rhythm, which basically means rising and falling with the sun. And it's better for your mood, better for your energy levels, better for your productivity, better for your state of mind everything the more you rise and fall with the sun the better it will be for you not all the quality of life and stuff that we build and improve as society grows further ahead is actually better for us because we are still creatures of nature a lot of the basic stuff that we had back in the day the routines that we had are still going to be best for us such as having early morning so if you can do it super crazy ass benefit that you could add to your life to perform and feel better Next thing that's going to be super beneficial is work out every single morning. Either hit the gym or do cardio. How many times did you go to sleep or lay in bed and you had all these bright ideas and you were super hyped, you were gonna be like, oh, tomorrow is gonna be awesome, I'm gonna do this, this, and that. And the next morning you wake up and you look at those notes and you're like, fuck this, this is stupid as fuck. What a mouse, this guy. As if you literally woke up as a whole different person the next morning. 
this literally happens to me all the time. I'm like this motivated motherfucker who feels like he's going to conquer the world. And then the next morning I wake up and I'm like zero motivation and I feel like a totally different person. To get back to that same level of energy and that same level of motivation as fast as possible in the morning, what I like to do is I like to run basically. So every single morning I hit some sort of workout. So right now like weightlifting is four times a week. Um, so because I just freaking add a lot of value to my physique and I need to maintain it and I still want to improve it and all those things even though you see some apps through this beater right now it's not as good as it could be I'm happy with my size but we can always still get bigger so I will always keep prioritizing it it's something that I add a lot of value to my identity to it helps with my work I freaking love to weight lift but on days where I'm not lifting I will do cardio in the morning it's like super easy thing to do like you don't need to plan any meal timing. There's no like heavy fatigue on your body or anything like that. You literally just wake up, you have your, your glass of water. I just put on way too short shorts. I get my vitamin D in. I maybe have a cup of coffee, preferably not because you ideally don't want to drink coffee within like 30 to 60 minutes in the morning, but that's another topic. And then I just head outside and I start running. And then like 20 minutes after I get all the oxygen like I have a lot of oxygen supply in my brain again and the endorphins start to run through and I'm instantly energized and then I just get to work. Only thing I need to do is then take a shower because of the skincare and skin goals that I explained earlier, right? So if you can, and I know you can, even if you have to wake up and it's freaking dark outside in the UK or in the Netherlands and it's just like freaking winter, low energy, shitty ass weather and it's cold outside and you have to wake up at six or like five in the morning to hit the gym before you go to work. Freaking do it, man. Freaking do it. If you are a freaking freak of nature and you are a beast and you want to become the best version of yourself in and outside of the gym, then this is one of the things I would highly recommend doing. Other thing you can do is you can take ice baths. Now, if you're a lot into the gym and into muscle building, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing ice baths because if you basically to build muscle, um, you need to create inflammation because inflammation increases muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis basically means the ability for you to convert protein that you eat after the gym into making bigger muscles, right? Now this process of inflammation or the amount of inflammation is reduced heavily based on studies after the gym. If you would take an ice bath, you will only have 50% of the amount of muscle protein synthesis. You can only make 50% of the amount of gains. Right? But if you had a few rest days in a row and you want to take a take an ice bath or you're only into running or cardio or boxing or anything like that, then yeah, sure, go ahead, take an ice bath because it will make that like level of endorphins and energy just even higher after the run. Okay, perfect like way to to start the day. Daily self-improvement books. Now I'm not a big reader, but I should be. Good at self-improvement book, what it basically is, is an entire lifespan of super knowledgeable people who put their lessons in one book, not only one person, but multiple, literally for you to absorb for $10. Actually stupid if you're not making use of that. And another benefit of these things, it will give you positive energy and will supply you with new ideas that you can put into your world once again, right? But I wouldn't read self-improvement books before bed because it would just get your brain going with all these thoughts and energy when, yeah, as I explained earlier, you need to kind of have this landing path down to be able to go to sleep at night. So if you wanna read something at night, make it a fiction book, not a self-improvement book, right? But somewhere in the morning or in the middle of the day, have a block where you read self-improvement books super beneficial highly recommend it and then you just basically hit your non-negotiables and your non-negotiables are things that no matter what you need to be doing so i have like it could be like fitness stuff right like for me that's like a given i literally breathe this freaking stuff like hitting the gym eating right like it's right now purely from a sense of self-love i don't need to focus on it that's all i know and all i will do there's not a chance i'll eat crap through the day and even at the in the night like i eat freaking clean all the freaking time maybe on a weekend but that's fine as long as it stays within my macros whole different topic and story as well knowledge within the fitness stuff if you want some of that click in the link below and we'll schedule a call we'll see what we can do to get there but anyway different topic non-negotiables 
for me right now that I need to keep focusing on are stuff within the business sense. So those are basically stuff that I need to do to maintain my business, stuff I need to do to work in the business, but also stuff to work on the business to keep growing. And those are basically a set amount of things that you just basically need to continuously do over and over and over again. The same consistency that you need to build your dream physique, you need to apply to this field as well. Those are the non-negotiables. Just check them off one by one by one by one. Every single day. My content for 2024. 2024, just like the previous years, it's all about the online space. The online space, that's where it's at nowadays. So my goal, as in the previous year, is to at least always post daily stuff on Instagram. 100% stories have to be stories. If I'm not posting stories, you know I'm already slacking. Like, kick my ass if you want to. Send me a message on Instagram. Say, motherfucker, you need to be posting stories if you want to. I would highly appreciate it. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Daily freaking stories and post as much as possible just on the feed and through reels and all those types of stuff as well. YouTube, I would like to bring out one video a week. That would be freaking amazing right now. That's going to be my aim. If I show up on IG every single day, if I show up on YouTube every single day, I would absolutely smash it in 2024, man. My journey will inspire others, it will motivate others, it will make my fulfillment become more because I see what it does to people. It, make, it will make your lives better and eventually, inevitably, it will also improve my businesses. And the impact of that is going to be unbelievable. If someone sees you turn up like that, they can't believe it. They're going to be like, how the fuck can someone turn up like that every single day? for a year, it will inspire them so much, it will inspire so much good in them to be better and will change their lives, 100%. That's like my biggest reason why I want to turn up that much every single freaking day on the content game. That's what I want to do, that's what I want to be in 2024, be that motherfucker who turns up every single day and then look back on that year and be like, fuck man, I actually did everything I could from a content point of view, at least to be the absolute best of myself every single day and see how that will inspire others and help others and help myself in reaching my goals. Absolutely fucking beautiful, man. That shit would make me incredibly happy. We could do much more than what we think we are capable of. We just need to get ourselves to that level and keep ourselves accountable of staying at that level. So your options, man, make that choice today to become that better version of yourself for the remaining of 2024. And look at it by month, set targets each month. Check that one off, okay, awesome, and more fired up for the next month. And keep that momentum going so you can absolutely smash the entire part of 2024. So two options, either one, make that freaking choice today and keep hammering at it every single month, or option two, just stay behind, stay the same, don't fulfill your purpose of progressing as time goes on and become less happy. It's up to you, man. You can make the choice every single day. Take it a month at a time, make the choice, dominate each month all the way through, through 2024. Thank you very much for listening, gentlemen, and making it all the way to this point in this video. And see you in the next one. Let's fucking get it. And end it off with a front double bye, because that's how we do out here, man. Peace. Bah!